Hi church, I have some really exciting news for you as we step into a season that is really significant for us as a church. We're stepping into our once a year special offering over and above our tithe and offering into the mission of our church. Now, we have called this our heart for the house, but we're just making a slight little change there. Drum roll, please. We're moving towards our heart for the mission, all right? Now, we're still all about heart for the house, giving into the house of God. But as we talked about at the start of this year with Vision Sunday, we want to be focused on our mission. Firstly, healthy church communities. Secondly, purpose-filled Jesus followers. And thirdly, significant and sustainable social impact. That's what our mission is all about. And that's what's driving the giving in this season. If you look at the early church, they were focused around the mission that Jesus had entrusted them to, to go into all the world, to, to preach the good news, to make disciples. That is the mission that we are all on. We're grateful for the facilities that we have. We're believing God that there will be more facilities that will be part of our future that can be used what for, for the mission. We see a few key elements to uh, seeing our heart for the mission really go forward. And one of those is transparency. Uh, we want to make sure you understand, well, where is the money going? What are we doing with the finances that come in? So we're going to be talking more clearly through our communication about what we're doing, percentages, and where the income goes. Secondly is obviously trust. And uh, we want to ensure that as you give, you trust that what you are giving into is going to take place. And, uh, you know, there's always or occasionally unforeseen things that uh, we have to work within as far as the economy and all of those different matters that we deal with in the real world. But trust matters. Trust is really important. And thirdly, we're together. Uh, we are together in that, in fact, we need each other. I can't do this on my own. You can't do this on your own. But together as the church, we can achieve something extraordinary. So I want to read to you from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. And I just want to thank you, church, for doing good, for living generously, for committing to pray uh, and committing to to hear from God, to be obedient in what He's calling you to, to say, God, what are you speaking to me about? And then sowing. And I just encourage you, you know, on behalf of Lucinda and I to pray about how you can be involved in this heart for the mission that we are giving into this year. And I'm believing it is going to be a miracle story every year. Uh, we give and we sow, believing God for miracles in our own lives and in the life of our church. And we're believing and praying that there will be miracle stories as we sow and we give together.